Oh, we're some Trump. Venus is beautiful. I mean, it's the same. Like, it matters who the president is. You know what I mean? Bro, I was poor when Reagan was president. I was poor when Clinton was president. <laughs> I was poor when Bush was president. And I'm still poor with Obama. That's funny, because then the Bush, I have a Bush. That's what everybody said. I have a Bush man, I was. The people like Bush gave me a check. Yes, right? he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Obama is Obama is summertime. Yeah, Obama is summertime. Yeah, Obama is summertime. I didn't even get a check, though. Actually, I think my cousin wants I live with my cousin at the time. I just stole it. So there's a bummer, man. I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah, Obama, Obama really did amp up the Uncle Tom Marie and the Captain Saber Hoary and the, uh, the transgenderism. All the baggage shit got boosted under Obama. Hey, you told me Trump got elected, he pretty much told everybody they was delusional. Yeah. He's like, you really think Trump is going to change something? You know? Because you know everybody admires Ron Paul. Attention Lord, 17, as for us, our eyes get fell for our main hope, and our watches, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Yeah, you wait for the nation that can save you. Only the Lord can save you, right. Like so, if, if if it's not a man of the Lord, I'm not I'm not gonna be in favor of him being over me. You know what I mean? But Trump's not a man of the Lord. He ain't got a beard. Shave his beard every day. He said, you know, he accept all religions. How are you supposed to be accepting all religions? That's fucking crazy. That's blasphemy. That's punishable by death. The scriptures, if you say, if you accept the ways of the heathen, and if you follow those them false gods, you're supposed to get put to death. You're supposed to get stoned with stones. That was the punishment. For, for the punishment for being a, a, a Hindu is death. A punishment for uh, work being a Muslim is death. Uh, well, he, he's a Scientologist, so that's death too, though. So, yeah. And a Freemason. So if he's in, when you really think about it, we went into that the other night on the, uh, we was on the internet, about how Farrakhan is teaching Scientology, which goes back to the teachings of Aleister Crowley. You know what I mean? That's bugged out, ain't it? Yeah, that's crazy shit. And like, like brother, uh, he was saying before, how do you think that Alex Jones got the interview with Farrakhan? Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I mean, they're all part of the Freemasons. That's why Alex Jones always tries to convince us that there's such thing as a good Freemason. You know? Yeah. Alternative news, yeah. I mean, Alex Jones is better than CNN. But he's still full of shit. That dude's just a salesman. He try, he, he worry about them dollar signs. Yeah. next. Day that we cannot go in our street, our end is near, our day of the field, for our end will come, our first year of swimming, the eagles of heaven. 
Hey there, and the persecutors are swift. They come on your ass quick. Go ahead. And pursue that to find the government. They wait for us in the wilderness. The rest of our nostrils, the anointed of the hour was taken in their pit, of whom we sat under the shadow of the shadow of the heathen. Hey, and we living amongst the heathen uh, today. We not fuck. You can tell we living on the heathens because, first of all, they got something called a school system. That's where everybody's being educated in the Bibles. They're not allowed in the school. That tells you something right there. This is the kingdom of Satan. Because you know, back in the old school, back in the old days, the, the church was the school. That's where you learn how to read and write with the church. Because back in the day, most of the people who were literate were scribes, you know what I'm saying, monks. You know what I'm saying? But that's where all the learning was, was at the church, in the monastery. And that's where all the learning was. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah whatever. Of course, if you glad of daughter of Eden, that as well as the man of others, that cup also shall pass through us of Eden. Oh, yeah, so es Esau is going to drink that cup that we drinking right now. Right now, we in bondage. We out here living under the rule of our enemies which is Esau, the house of Amalek, right? So soon the tables are gonna be turned on these devils and they going we gonna rule over them. And just like, hey, we should get that in that, uh, I can get it. Second Edward, six and nine, the whole six chapter. Go ahead. Uh, Not the whole chapter. Go ahead. Thou shalt be drunk and shall make What do y'all think about Trump? Trump? I mean, he's just, uh, no, yeah. But you can't, the, uh, the, whoever's president don't matter though, because they're all set up, they're all puppets, right? Even Park, he's still a puppet of somebody, otherwise he wouldn't have got in there. So the, all, the whole, all the government is, is under the, the uh, black race of the state. Because nowhere in the scriptures does it say to set up a democracy. See, we're not for democracy. We're against democracy, we're against voting. There ain't nowhere in the scriptures say you go vote, you know what I mean? There ain't nowhere in there. Yeah, that's one of that's one of the uh, systems of Satan. See you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord. But the scripture does cover us as a nation, our people, not not putting another man over us. Yep. You know, as a leader. You know, Especially if a heathen nation. Right, right. Because Donald it's Trump is not our people. Only amongst our people are we supposed to select somebody to help us. You know what I mean? And really, according to the scriptures, the only king. It's supposed to be of the lineage of the house of David. So the only proper king will be one of the sons of David. Saving America. America's on its way out. You know? Hillary, she's a double team. That's Obama. an open racist. She's an open racist. But well, why ain't nobody hit you in that? You know? Yeah, she was on, uh, she was good friends with Senator Robert Byrd, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the head of the KKK. Well, remember, she, remember she was briefly that uh, war for the woman that created the fake family war? Yeah, what's Barbara that? Sanders? Sanders? Yeah, Barbara Sanders. Oh, yeah. She received, let me show you something. Well, she was a like, well known communist. <laughs> I'm ready. She had that famous quote back in the 90s when she referred uh, to uh, so-called black males as super predators. A super predator. Yeah, Bill Clinton's the one who introduced three strikes and you're out or something like that, right? The three felonies and you out of there, locked away from good. Yeah, so it's all bullshit. You can't listen to none of these politicians. Put no trust in them. What's that scripture Jeremiah says? Uh, don't put your trust in man. You know what that says? Been, that's a one of old school scriptures. I got that in a minute. Is this person being caught on fire? What you think? Yes, you think it's very barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> Picnic. And that's when people are fighting over the boat. Hey, you know what I mean? Here they burn you up, hungry, now you vote. Why they burn that? 
Magical presidential candidate gonna pop up and save your ass. You just make the whole world better. Yeah, because the Lord in John 15 said he is the vine and we are the branches. So this is the vineyard right here, the vineyard. How you say it? The vineyard? Vineyard? The vineyard? What the fuck? The Elmo. And you know what came out too? That Elmo got caught and molested the little boys. And they settled out of court. What kind of sick shit is that? You like especially the parents are settled quick. They'd rather take the money than seeing justice get done for their child getting raped in the asshole. You know what I mean? They do. Yeah, a lot, especially them actors too. You know, this band coming out how, well, shit, Elmo, that's in the Hollywood scene with the acting. But how they pretty, well, Corey Feldman came out and said that Hollywood is, what did he say? The pedophilia, uh, it was ran by fucking pedophiles. Yeah, look at Molly Cyrus. Cute little girl. What was she supposed to do? 
Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. How do you say he's going to hear about that? That was when you was young, though. Yeah, they turned her out. No, that's a Raven. That was a good thing. Oh, Raven. I used to watch that for that big city. Yeah, he took his fucking ass. Yeah. Man, that Disney shit is evil, though, man. They put all kind of sick, twisted, subliminal messages in their shows and cartoons. <laughs> See though, that's all I'm saying. We gonna see. Yeah, you, got, you know, these motherfuckers got worried about between now and get the bomber leave. What's gonna happen in between there? I agree. That there's a reason they let him get in there. Y'all see the video on the internet? Uh, the Trump protesters coming back in? No, I got going up and down. I was here. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well, I was gonna come down. I was like, nah. Well, I didn't like stick around, but I was driving through here and I seen it. That I, I was doing some work right down the street. Yeah. All over. They mad as hell. Because yeah, yeah. cause they saying that, oh, we're going to lose our EBT. That's the main thing they worry about, boy, that EBT. Yeah, yeah. They, I, we been telling y'all they're going to shut it off. They're getting shut off. We've been told y'all that. Because they think that, that everything's always going to continue as it was. People always think that life is going to keep being cozy and comfortable. It's not going to keep being cozy and comfortable. It's just going to get, get wild and crazy out here. Right. The elite, they don't get it. Oh, because like you know all them preachers and shit, they love Trump too. All them preachers. They love Trump, boy. The evangelicals, they love Trump. They said he's gonna bring peace and prosperity. I got a scripture for it. Oh, you got something about it? You got one? Alright, I got one for you. Ezekiel uh, 13 and uh, 16. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, because Jerusalem's really a people before it's a place, though, right? As a people. To what the prophets of Israel which prophesied concerning Jerusalem and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace save the Lord God. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy, prophesy thou against them. I mean, that's pretty much You know what I mean? And they always preaching that it's peace and prosperity. You know what I mean? There's going to be no peace and no prosperity. Have you ever prospered? Prosper. Right. I, I ain't prospered. They just need a picture of Trump. What's that? They need a picture of Trump. And Hillary. 
Crypto Muslim, he's probably a Shriner. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Oh, that's I, right. I guarantee that's, that's the picture with us. He had the hat on. I guarantee it. Oh, he was wearing that hat. He oh, sure did. I Definitely. hardly pay attention Definitely. to it. Yeah. Politics are not my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Politics is a waste of time. Yeah. Everything I have is shit. So, got to. Shit, well, Obama, eight years of Obama, bro. You should be living Lord. Got a Lamborghini, a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 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 So, okay. He gave change. Oh, you got some change in your pocket. A little bit. It's a couple dimes, a couple pennies. That's all you got some change. <laughs> I got a spare change for change. Okay. You got first up one in part two. Oh, that's a good one, too. And yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come to and they beat in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then such destruction shall come to them as to build from the one of the child, and they shall not escape. You know, just like the politicians coming in office, and they will be peace and safety. You know, Trump, whatever he's just campaigning on, people, that's what people do. That's your hope, or whatever he's campaigning on. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. A lot of people get relaxed right now, bro. We just came out, you know, people, they, they have fight the so-called truth seekers and truth speakers. They've been working hard, boy, for relentless, sleepless nights for the past year or so. And now look at it. They working just all, hard, too. Now they, now they feel like they crossed the finish line or something. <laughs> like they made it. We made it. Yeah. Now they all going to go back to sleep and they're going to stop working. Man, we saw the most bugged out thing today coming out this that room. Oh, what happened? Somebody holding a Clinton sign. Really? Still. Man, they... I was, I was like, you hold it. Oh, hey, come down. That's people are delusional, yeah, man. That the average, hey, they get it, bro. The average person has got serious delusions. Jeremiah eight eleven. For that heal the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, "Peace, peace." But there is no peace. Yeah, there ain't gonna be no peace. Y'all think, oh. America, 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 America. Nah, bruh, it ain't happening. Going down. America's going down. Down, down, down. Straight to fucking hell. <laughs> then it's going down the toilet. That's where it's going like a turd that got flushed. It's like the fucking diarrhea beer shit's getting flushed down the toilet. They're like, we're allowed to be racist again. No more political correctness. <laughs> Woo Personally, I like my man, because I like my man. Yeah. Right now, and then you got these other delusional motherfuckers. They, they still think Bernie's getting in there. Oh, you know what I mean? People gone, bro. But you mean Bernie Sanders is a, a fucking Jew from the he's a from the Edomite from the tribe of Amalek. You know what I mean? So you know he's straight bond paid for. Him. Like a ritual, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> Let me read some of this. 
following Donald Trump win, Hillary Clinton supporters are not giving in. They have launched an online petition calling upon the electoral college to vote for Clinton and say Trump. And Clinton already conceded. <laughs> he said in his speech, he can take that to the Supreme Court. And by, if you have a concession right here, what's wrong with this? Yeah, I mean, they're just people are fucking retarded. Yeah, this too can go in the U.S. President's election, the term of the election, the electoral college, the decision not to be elected, the term passed the vote is legally elected the Supreme Court. Their vote, however, is still the last two changes in the vote, being purely, being purely a ceremonial occasion. That's it. <laughs> it's just a ceremony. I mean, in theory, they could do that, though. Man, they can vote for whoever the hell they want. Yeah, but they can change. They ain't gonna do that. Clear right. supporters of the position of the Look at this freak right there. Look at the tape machine. Looking like Jack the Ripper. Looking like Jack the Ripper. I shit don't zoom in that far. He's a weirdo, just trust him. <laughs> Dude, people are whack. People are whack in the fucking hall, bro. Jacob and Diego. Figure that shit out. Oh, yeah? That's a bad name, too. Name your son Israel. That's a, that's a beautiful name right there. Go ahead. I did 56 in the court. I, I also was too the delusion. That's what I'm going to say. He that killed the body. He that this is to a man. He that sacrificed the lamb. As he cut up the dog's neck, he that offered in an oblation, as he walked with swine's blood, he that burned his infants, as he burned his idol, they got Right, because you know, like when people, when they make their sacrifice, that's just a thing. They just do it, they don't, their heart is not like this, they don't do it. Well, it's like Isaiah 1 says you're a, a sacrifice and an abomination. He's like, he's, and there's another thing that says you're the blood of an idol. Go ahead. They, they have chosen their own way and their soul delighted in abomination. I also will choose their delusion and I will bring their fears upon them because when I caught none did answer or in fact they did not hear. Right, these people are delusional. They're caught up in the election. I mean, they listen to everything the politician says. You know, oh, we, we got to listen to this guy. We got to follow that guy. But they're going to tell us we're full of shit. Tell the Lord that the Lord's full of shit. You know what I mean? Go ahead. To the Lord's the one who created this whole circus. Go ahead. They did evil before my eyes to see that in which I would like not. Right. Yeah, like they over here fight for Hillary. Hillary's a liberal lunatic. Supports abortion, which is murder. She's, she, she's a witch. She got uh, it proven that one of her top advisors is doing witchcraft, making paintings out of blood and semen and urine. Hillary admitted to doing a, a seance in the White House doing witchcraft. People put their trust in her. They don't. They don't want to follow the commandments of the Lord. But they talk about they want to follow the commandments of America. You know what I mean? That's why our people are delusional, bro. Hold on, we stop this. <laughs>